best news for 2020. My name is Josh. My name is Ruben. And my name is Samuel. Over the last few weeks, we have been starting swimming and house sports and team building. Roll the clip. Welcome. Yes. Welcome to Block and Intermediate and thank you all for coming here. Me and so much more me.
all the new staff at our school. This episode, we will be interviewing Mrs Mackay. This is what she had to say. Hi Mrs Mackay, she is the Room 13 teacher. What made you choose to work at Broad Green? Well, I actually had heard from quite a lot of teachers around Nelson that Broad Green's teachers were really happy. And to me, having happy teachers at a school must mean that things are going really well and I wanted to be a part of that. I also knew Mrs Munro and Mrs Scully and I also know Miss Beard. They are really great teachers and really great leaders um, so I wanted to come and work with them. And I also know that Mr Michener is a well respected principal and I knew he was doing great things for Broad Green so I wanted to come and work here too. Could you please tell us a little about yourself? Well, I'm not that interesting. I have been teaching in Nelson before I came here. I worked at Nelson Intermediate for five years, which was really cool, and I learned lots. I have a husband, and his name is Luke, and he's a builder. And I have a little girl called Freya, and she's 18 months old. Before I moved back to Nelson, I worked in Wellington for eight years. What's your favourite joke slash quote? I use this quite a lot in class and just as my general motto, but I do think that um, this is a great quote, which is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And I think that we're not all the best at everything, but working hard can make you really talented. And so I try to remember that. What inspired you to become a teacher? Well, growing up, obviously, I went to school too, and I had some really good teachers, but I also had some that didn't really get me in like how cool I am. So I thought maybe I could do a little bit better than them, so that's why I thought maybe I could be a teacher. I also think that education is so important, like what you choose to do in life. Having a good education is like super important, so I kind of want to be a part of that too. Which house do you live in personally is going to win the World Green House Cup for this term? Well, obviously, if I could too, um, with, with Mr. Daly, Mr. Shearer and myself, like, uh, who could get a better team? Yeah. What is your favourite sport? Uh, for a team sport, I love netball. I think it's uh, fast paced, it's non contact, but it's super intense, and I love that. Um, and if it wasn't a team sport, I love running. Thank you for bringing us on to you, Mrs. No problem. Thank you for having me. STAR is our school's value system. It stands for Safe, Together, Achieving and Respectful. This week's STAR segment is on Being Sun Smart. How to be a Sun Smart STAR student. Safe, wear your hats and put on sunscreen. Whenever you go up for morning tea, lunch, games or swimming. If you don't have your hat, play in the shade. Top five places to play in the shade. Number one, under the trees on the top field. Not by two dollars tea. Number two, our new shaded areas outside room four and five. Number three. The library is a good shaded place if you don't have your hat. Make sure to be quiet and take off your shoes before entering. Number four, under the shelter of the Woodstock deck. You're right, what's Number five, under the platform of the challenge course. Basketballs are my favourite. Together, make sure everyone in your group has a hat. Okay, next morning, team, let's go. Yep. Oh, wait. I forgot I don't have my hat today. Oh, no. We got this jacket. We can take you up to the top tree line. Yeah. Thank you. So you're protected. Protect them. 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 Protect Achieving, you might get a star coupon for wearing your hat. How many followers on Instagram do you have? Hey guys. Hey, it's really awesome to see all of you uh, wearing your hats today. That's awesome. I've got a whole bunch of star coupons here. I'm just gonna make it red. Oh no!
Presented. You'll have until the day before the next assembly to deliver your answer to Mr. Green Room 16. One correct answer will be drawn from all correct answers and the person will receive the prize from that week. Good luck! watching the first episode of Best News for 2020. Be sure to share it with your friends and whanau. And like and subscribe. Have a fantastic weekend.